Hello everyone and welcome to the C Programming on the Mac series. This series is geared towards absolute beginners for programming, meaning people that have never programmed in their lives and are just looking for that starting block. So if that's you, uh, you've come to the right place. Um, I originally created these tutorials about uh, a year or two ago and really nothing's changed with C so the tutorials are by no means outdated. The only thing that has changed is the environment that we build them in. So the tool that we use for all of our programming is in Xcode and basically we've transitioned from when I first started which was Xcode 3 and now we're using Xcode 4. And so there's only very minor differences that I'm going to cover in this tutorial. So I'm going to show you how you can install Xcode 4 and how you can run and see a basic program. So hopefully uh, that will get you uh, where you need to be. And for the rest of the tutorials, I'll be using Xcode 3. But really, there's no difference in C. We're just printing out to the console anyway. All right. So with that said, um, here we are within Xcode uh, four. This is Xcode 4. And I'm just going to show you though how you can go about downloading it. So if you're running uh, Snow Leopard or above, basically you should have the Mac App Store. And in the Mac App Store, this is where we now find Xcode 4. So to find Xcode, you can just type in Xcode into the search bar there. And it should be the first option that appears. And it's called Xcode. So uh, this option here will just allow you to install it when you click on that and it'll you know ask you for your iTunes account username and password and then it should uh, you know install the entire thing of Xcode and there'll be a few easy setup uh, processes that it'll ask you to uh, go through after you download it from the Mac App Store but other than that uh, once you have it installed it will be in your applications folder or launch pad whatever you use and basically from there you'll just uh, press it like you do any other application so as you can see I have Xcode on my dock and it just behaves like every other Mac application out there alright so once you have Xcode installed uh, it's a very easy process and you can launch it and then this is what you should be presented with so from here when you're creating a C uh, any C code what you're gonna wanna do is go to this button right here create a new Xcode project and then you'll get this window that will pop up. And under the Mac OS X heading and under the subheading application, you want to select the command line tool. This is where we do all the C work uh, that we do in these tutorials. So go ahead and select command line tool, hit next, and you'll just call it whatever you want. Um, throughout this series, I always just refer to them as um, basically lesson one, two, three, etc. And you can uh, refer to them however you want. But basically, uh, you'll type in whatever you want. So just call it lesson one, for example. And uh, you can leave, put in your organization name, which I just left as my name. And the company identifier, it should, uh, you can change this as you if you want as well. Just put com.something. And uh, it's really, it's, irre it's irrelevant for the most part. Uh, the only real thing that you have to be pay attention to is the type right here. And this is asking for the basically the code that we're going to be working, which uh, by default, I'm not sure what it is, but we want C. We don't want to use foundation. So we want to select type C, and now this means that we'll be creating a C project. And the automatic reference counting thing doesn't matter. You can have that checked on or off. It doesn't actually affect what we're doing. All right, so with that, uh, we can go ahead and hit next, and it'll ask us where we want to save this. I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop but you know you might want to create a folder for all these tutorials and all your main code is located on the left side here so if you go ahead and select main.c you'll see that this is where the code will appear and uh, if you want you can select this button up here to hide this right panel because we'll never be working in that panel for these tutorials so uh, you can freely hide it we're only going to be using mostly this side and all of the code will be written right between here. So to run a program, it's very simple in Xcode 4, you just hit this nice big run button up here. So if you go ahead and hit that, it should go ahead and pop up this little thing down here. And as long as you have, uh, you can see there's a few different options, but if you 
as long as you have this middle one or this right one selected, it will show you the output of your program. So in this program, what we're doing is just printing out this text right here, and that's what appears in the console. So the important part is that uh, you just know how to run these programs. I'll go through uh, running through you know what all this program means here in the series, but this tutorial is just to show you how to use Xcode 4. If you hit uh, this button right here, which is the show hide debug area button, you can see that it will show and hide uh, your console area. In the Xcode 3, when I originally made these tutorials, there was an option where we went up here and then we'd hit show console and then that's where we viewed all the programs, but in Xcode 4, everything will just appear in this output window right down here. All right, so that should be everything uh, that you need to know for these tutorials. Um, if you ever need to create a new file in Xcode 4, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just go to File, New, and New File. And then uh, the tutorials that I run through in uh, the series should be good enough to explain how you go about um, adding your files from there. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, little intro video, and hopefully you'll be on your way to learning how to begin programming and begin programming in C. So uh, lots of fun ahead, and I hope you enjoy the series.